What's up guys? Welcome back. Let's uh, let's just cut right to the chase. We're gonna go see a couple of legends. We're gonna go see Brad Vanderpool, the owner, operator, the man behind the magic of F5 custom rods, and then the man himself who needs no introduction. And probably, you know the name, just because, you know, Catch Co. But we're gonna go see Mike Buka today. We're gonna go see these guys. They're out here in Oklahoma. They're down in Grove. I'm actually driving an hour and a half to go see them. And it's, uh, only reason I'm doing this is because Brad was harassing me and yelling at me and saying that, you know, if, if you're not coming, Steve's not coming, then I'm gonna disown you guys. He said something along those lines. So, I said, all right, dude, I'll be there. And I know it looks like a beautiful day outside, and it really is, but we've got uh, some gale force winds today. It's blowing between like 30 and 40 miles an hour today. And I decided to drive my wife's car, the little uh, Honda CRV, and I'm gonna probably get blown off the highway, but it's better gas mileage, you know? So I'll give up a little bit of safety for, you know, saving on gas. It's... All my dads out there know what I'm talking about. All my dads out there know what I'm talking about. You know when you like wake up, the you know, you go to bed one night, you're like, ah, I might want to get gas today. And then you wake up and it jumps up like 30 cents and you're like, yeah, what? What? I try and explain it to my wife and she doesn't get it. She's like, I haven't watched gas prices since I started driving at 17. And I was like, yeah, I think it's just a dad thing. So I don't know how we got on this subject of gas prices when we're going to go, you know, see some swim bait guys. And not just swim bait guys, but swim bait legends. Anyways come along you know I mean you're here so far if you made it to this point congratulations you've, uh, you've now endured the first rant and tangent of the day so if you are here let me know in the comments and say I made it to the tangent just let me know I gotta know I gotta know who all is really watching say I made it to the tangent OWA now let's let's get on not hit the set. shoot much video didn't want to like you know get the microphone on here but he says no interviews so we're not there's no interviews I'm probably gonna blur your face no questions no, no, questions. no, no questions, questions no questions no interviews nothing I didn't sign a waiver I spent money that I shouldn't have spent but it's a good thing that my wife doesn't watch these videos and then she won't know how much I spent Man, that was fun. That was fun. It's always good seeing Brad, dude. If you're watching, I mean, I don't, I don't even know if he watches these videos. But if you are watching, it's good seeing you, dude. And I appreciate you very much. Mr. Buka, thank you. If you guys don't know, uh, the reason I didn't shoot like much video talking with them, I was just super crunched on time. I had less than an hour, but I had to go see them. I'm trying to watch my, my navigation out of here, out of Grove, Oklahoma right now. But I had to go see the guys and didn't want to take much time trying to shoot video and talk with them. I just wanted to have that good, like, just that one-on-one. -on -one. <sighs> I don't know. Hard to explain. But, you know, I feel like sometimes shooting video with people like that that you don't see very often that are very prolific in the industry, shooting video can just kind of take away from the, I don't know, just, what's the word I'm looking for? without sounding weird, the intimacy of just talking to that person. Because then you feel like you gotta do it on video anyways. If you guys don't know what I was trying to say and I got sidetracked there, Mike Buka, he is deaf. He is deaf. So if you've ever, you know, like, if you ever meet him, you gotta speak up. 
I mean, you got to practically yell. And it's always weird for me talking to him like that because I feel like I'm literally yelling at the man who is a legend. And me and Brad were talking about that. But that's not the case. It's just the fact that he is hard of hearing. He is hard of hearing, so you do have to speak up if you ever meet him. And then, like I said, the man is just, he has pioneered the way for swim baits. And I'll show you guys, once I get back to the house, the stuff that I got. But, you know, a lot of people, I think more people now know about the burrito and they think that it is the Buca burrito. And it's not. He actually, he kind of brought those back to life or helped bring them back to life. And, it, yeah, anyways, let's get to the house. I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. I picked up stuff that I did not need, um, but I sure wanted. And I did, get, uh, I did get something that I did need that I didn't know I needed, but I do need. So, let's get back to the house and I'm show you guys. Woo! <laughs> well, this is a little after I've gotten home. Uh, things were kind of crazy that day. I got home and, like, I just had to start moving 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 uh wife had a birthday party to go to so i just was right into dad mode and now it's it's late it's like 11 o'clock at night and it's cold it is cold out so i had to throw the hoodie on but i told you guys i was going to show you what i got however there's one thing that i did get that i'm not going to show you just yet and i mean like i showed it on instagram but you know it, whatever i'm not going to show it I'm not going to show it i gotta fish it first but what I picked up, um, I actually don't have them right here in front of me, but Mr. Buka, Mike, you know, I, I needed a replacement tail for my soft tail wake bait. And uh, I actually had that inside. Um, I was putting those, uh, putting the new tail on there and shoved a toothpick right into the tip of my finger. So, But he gave me two replacement tails for the soft tail, which I was absolutely stoked about. And I picked up two burritos. So, you guys know I love the burrito, and I did pick up a new color in the burrito. This guy right here. What's really cool about this one is this one actually has a knock. I hope you guys can hear that. But it's got a single knock to it, and that's what I love about these Expos. I mean, Mike is always bringing some kind of crazy heat to the Expos and to the shows that he does not have on his website, but... I now have a burrito with a knocker. I love this color. I mean, the glitter to it, the sparkle, the gold, a little bit of black fleck in there. This thing just, it looks absolutely sick. So I did get another six inch fast sink burrito. I'm not, I'm not too keen on the medium sinks just yet. Obviously, I mean, the way that I fish them, I like the fast sink. But I also picked up a five inch burrito. So look at this guy. Now, I just made an Instagram post talking about this. So the 5-inch burrito, I mean, like, it's, it is small. It's like, it's just snack-sized. It's, it's hard to think about, you know, like, a 5-inch to a 6-inch bait and the size difference. But when you really compare them, I mean, that is quite a bit of a size difference between the two. Quite a bit of a size difference. So for you guys that are out there, that think, you know, maybe I don't have the right gear to throw the burrito or, you know, you're worried about the weight of it or anything like that, grab the 5-inch. This thing is just, I, I'm stoked. I'm going to be throwing this as soon as I possibly can. Um, again, these guys, like, they're a silicone, so they are stretchy. I know Tactical Bassin did a video talking about them. Mine that I have right now, I mean, I've had seven fish hit it, and I've landed six, and, I mean, it's showing very little signs of wear and tear except for missing an eye but five and six inch burritos right there the again just the size difference is unreal this this little thing just gets me excited which you know that's that's what she said but i am <laughs> pretty stoked to throw this like i said i'm going to throw it as soon as possible the color scheme on this you get in the right light, it's got a baby bass color to it. You get it in the other light, it's got like a bluegill pattern to it. It's it's beautiful. It is a thing of beauty. And then, last but not least, the thing that I said that I got that I needed that I didn't know I needed, but I needed, again, without knowing that I needed it, but I needed it, is a brand new ghost code. A brand new F5 ghost code. 
So this guy right here, when I say I needed but I didn't know I needed, this is actually a 7.6 medium heavy. 7.6 medium heavy, 1 to 4 ounce ghost code. And this thing, I mean, it's got, it's got a lot more tip to it. The one that I have right now is the 8 foot, 8 foot uh, moderate fast, 1 to 6 ounce. But this 1 to 4 ounce, this guy right here has got a much faster tip to it. But this is going to be absolutely perfect for the burritos. Now Brad was kind of shocked that I was, you know, slamming, slamming burritos, you know, with, <laughs> well, anyways, he was kind of surprised that I was catching fish on the burrito on that eight foot because it is a moderate fast. But I mean, I showed him some clips and showed him those baseball swings and he got the job done. But this rod right here, this is going to cover like 80% of the swim baits that I have. I've had a guy asking me, and I can't remember your name off the top of my head, and I'm sorry, dude. He's been asking me for a swim bait arsenal video. If you guys want to see all of my swim baits, I need more people to chime in. Comment down below. Let me know if you want to see all the swim baits that I have. I will take the time. I will clear the wall off, and I will put them all together and show you guys everything that I have and the stuff that's not on the wall because there's other stuff over there, and there's more stuff over there, and there's more stuff over there, but... I digress. This rod is going to cover 80% of the swim baits that I have. And this is where I was missing out because the swim bait rods that I have right now, honestly, some of them, you know, the ghost code can kind of overpower my original ghost code, can kind of overpower some of those smaller swim baits. Um, also, the reel and the line. So I've got a reel coming for this. And I'm going to, just, I'm going to show you guys when that comes in. But I'm pretty stoked for the reel that I have coming for this. I'm stoked for this rod. I'm stoked for some new burritos. The knock, the little five inch, and then the other swim bait that I got. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not showing it to you guys right now. I will not, and I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me. But it's, uh, it might be the coolest swim bait, in my opinion, that I have ever owned. And I uh, just... Um, I'm blown away. Blown away by it. So, again, big shout out and big thanks to Brad and Mike. You guys are awesome. It was great seeing you guys. And, uh, man, I'm just I'm stoked for the next one. I'm stoked to get out and, uh, you know, I'm fine. Me and Brad need to go fish, like, ASAP, like, tomorrow. I mean, we won't be fishing tomorrow, but tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, now I'm just going to go inside, go to bed. Now I'm, I'm going to edit this video so you guys can watch it, but, you know, whenever. I've got a lot of fishing stuff filmed. I know some people have been asking, like, where's the fishing content? It's coming. I promise you it's coming. I've been playing with the live scope a little bit. I've been playing with the live scope, and I've showed you guys some of the catches, but anyways. Besides the point, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you next time we're on the water.